Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make all of these Halloween themed modded outfits in GTA 5 Online without the transfer glitch. So these are completely available without deleting any of your outfits so you can keep all your outfits uh, doing this glitch. And I have been having an issue recently with like all my videos. YouTube just isn't processing it in HD. I've tried loads of things like re-uploading and uh, waiting ages and it just doesn't seem to process in HD so I'm hoping I get this out before Halloween. If it's out after I'm sorry about that uh, but hopefully you can still use these outfits regardless. But if you want to help the video out please leave a like it will help out massively with the performance. Uh, also if you just find it helpful or enjoy leave a like if you want to. Uh, and feel free to subscribe if you're new here. But before we get into the video, shout out to all of these people on screen for commenting hashtag TJRH on my last video. Quickly, if you would like any of these services, be sure to check out Mods in the description below. They offer some of the quickest and safest GTA Cash and Rank services uh, and modded accounts for both the standard edition and enhanced. And as you can see here, they are trusted by hundreds and hundreds of customers. I am going to start the video off by showing you the easiest way to get the black joggers, as as you can see, a lot of these outfits in this video require the black joggers uh, if you saw the thumbnail so yeah i thought i'd just start off by showing you how to get them so you will need to go to your moc go on the computer in the back of your moc you want to start with a mission called work dispute right here and in this menu you need to invite someone and then you need to start this up uh, there are other methods to get the black joggers if you don't have an moc so you can look at my channel and i'll show you how to get them but in the mission you want to head over to any one of your apartments so they won't show up on the mini map uh, but you know you'll need to know where it is and just go to one Over here, just place a sticky bomb and then blow yourself up on the blue circle. When you spawn back in, this time it will let you inside your apartment, so go to the blue circle, head inside, and then go down and save this outfit in your wardrobe. After you have it saved, all you need to do from there is just quit the job using your phone. Now when you spawn in, open up your interaction menu, equip the outfit you saved, and it will have the black joggers. So there you go, that's how you do it, uh, now that's it. Anyway, we're going to start off with the quickest outfit to make in this video, and that is the black joggers black jersey outfit with the skeleton logo uh, from the thumbnail. So equip your black joggers and come to a clothing store, head over to shoes, you want to head down to the sports shoes, and go for the number 28, the all white sports shoes, these here. And then simply head over to the accessories menu, go on gloves, then go for the black woolen gloves. After that, head over to tops, head down to the sports tops, and then go for the black football shirt. Actually, before you do that, you will need to purchase uh, the this skeleton t-shirt here, the BDG skeleton t-shirt. So make sure you have this purchased, uh, and then from here, go and equip the football shirt. The black football shirt. Yeah, so this one here, the black football shirt. All you need to do from here is head over to any one of your apartments and go to the wardrobe inside of your apartment. Now inside of here, go down to the tops, you want to head down to designer t-shirts and then go and hover over the VDG skeleton t-shirt, hover over this for about 10 seconds and then after you have waited, uh, you open up your pause menu. And then from here, go to online, head down to crews, go onto leaderboard and then go on any, any of these crews and join any member and you should load into a new session. When you load in you should notice you get this uh, logo on the black football shirt now so all you need to do is go to a clothing store and then save this.
from here you can go and add the black bulletproof helmet if you want to or any other accessories and then save this. Um, also the face paint I'll show you how to get it uh, right now. You want to head over to any barber shop first then press right d-pad to get a makeover and you want to go down to the face paints And there should be all the Halloween face paints, so if you want the same one as me, it is going to be this one here, the Wicked Skull. And then you want to hold right bumper to get it all the way, uh, to get the opacity all the way up. So you can change it with left bumper and right bumper. So do that and then get the face paint, and that's this outfit done. So obviously the face paint is optional, you don't need it, uh, but yeah, that's it done. So let's move on to the next outfit. Next up, I'm going to show you how to get this black and red outfit here. So it's going to use the black joggers, which I showed you showed you how to get at the start of the video. Uh, so if you don't have them, you can go and watch that. But yeah, let's get straight into making this. So to start with the outfit, you first of all want to equip the black joggers and then come to any clothing store on the map. Head over to shoes. You want to go on arena wall shoes and then go for the black and red light ups. So these here. After you have these, you then just want to head over to tops. Before we do that though, go onto gloves and equip the red and grey armoured. So these here, the red and grey armoured. After you have those, go on tops, head down to the regular t-shirts. So just onto t-shirts, and then find the Harsh Souls t-shirt. So this one here, this red one. And then after you have this one here, all you need to do is head down to utility vests, and then equip number 43, so the peach plate carrier. Number 43. After you have this, you can then also equip a black desert scarf using your interaction menu and then go save this in slot 1. After you have it saved, you then want to head down to outfits, heist coveralls, equip any of the last four, so any of these with a gas mask and then head over to the telescope on the pier. Over here, run by the telescope, spam right on the d-pad, you should be standing still, so open up your interaction menu, equip the outfit you just saved, and then from here, uh, walk away, the gas mask should merge onto it. Uh, so now you want to head over to the mask store. Over here, go onto any menu, and then you just want to save this in slot number 1, so overwrite the save. After you've done so, open up your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go on missions, and start up a titan of a job. Now in the mission, you'll notice your peach plate carrier has disappeared. You also have the gas mask on, so from here, all you want to do is head over to any ammunition store in the mission. And inside of here, go and save your outfit, so save it to slot number 1 on any menu. So overwrite the save, and then from here, quit the job using your phone. Once you load back into online, you want to head over into the ammunition store. And inside of here, go to tops, then head down to the... Uh, vests, so just regular vests. You want to go for the black vest or any vest uh, that allows you to equip a shirt underneath. So any of these, and after you do so, go on vest shirts, equip the black band vest shirt. So that one there. From here though, you want to go and open up your pause menu, go on to online, go to jobs, play job, go on to bookmarked, then go down to missions and startup. It's a G thing, so you will need to bookmark it. I'll leave a link to it in the description.
In this menu here, set the clothing to player saved outfits and then just invite anyone and start this up. In this section here, on owned outfit you want to scroll one to the right and then from here, ready up. So don't worry, the logo does disappear for now, but it will come back later when we save the outfit. So just ready up and load into the session. In the mission, all you need to do is wait a little bit, so wait a few seconds, and then either quit the job using your phone, or go into your uh, pause menu, start up Rockstar Creator, and then start up a new online invite-only session. Once you spawn in, all you need to do is head over to any car, so it can be your own car or a street car. You want to register as an MC or a CEO. Sit inside the car, go to your MC or CEO style, switch one to the right, then one back to the left. And then exit the car. You'll notice you should get this outfit now, so don't worry, the logo has come back when you save it, so go and save it. And that's it done, so you can go and add accessories, a helmet or a breather, or a mask, or both. Whatever you want to do, feel free to add things to this outfit. So yeah, that's it done, so I hope you enjoyed. But anyway, on to the next outfit. Next up, I'll be showing you how to get this outfit here, with the pumpkin horror mask. I'll also show you how to get that, the black, uh, well, i have shown you how to get the black joggers already. And I'll also show you how to get an IAA badge at the end of this outfit to add it onto it. Now you don't actually have to use the black joggers for this, if you want to you can use the orange joggers, it's up to you. But anyway, let's get straight to making this. To start off with the outfit, you want to first equip your black joggers, and then come to any clothing store on the map, so anyone. Head over to shoes, go down to sports shoes, just go for the orange sports shoes. So those there, the orange kicks. It's up to you though, you don't have to equip them, you can use any other sports shoes, or any other shoes in the game. It's up to you. But from here, go on to tops. Now on tops, head down to sweaters. You want to equip the black turtleneck sweater. So down here, the black turtleneck sweater. After you have that, head down to utility vests. Now on utility vests, go for number 43, the peach plate carrier, so equip this one here, number 43, then go on to gloves, go for the black tacked gloves, or any gloves of your choice. It's up to you, but from here you want to go over and save this to slot number 1, so make sure you save it in slot 1. After you have it saved, you then want to head down to Outfits, Heist Coveralls, equip any of the last four, so any of these with a gas mask, and then head over to the telescope on the pier. Over here, run by the telescope, spam right on the d-pad, you should be standing still, so open up your interaction menu, equip the outfit you just saved, and then from here, uh, walk away, the gas mask should merge onto it. Uh, so now you want to head over to the mask store. Over here, go onto any menu, and then you just want to save this in slot number 1, so overwrite the save. After you've done so, open up your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go on missions, and start up a titan of a job. Now in the mission, you'll notice your peach plate carrier has disappeared. You also have the gas mask on, so from here, all you want to do is head over to any ammunition store in the mission.
And inside of here, go and save your outfit, so save it to slot number one on any menu. So overwrite the save, and then from here, quit the job using your phone. Once you load back into online, you want to head over into the ammunition store. Uh, so when you load back into the session, go to ammunition, go on outfits, and then from here you want to equip an outfit you have the trash vest on already, or the dock vest, these ones work as well, so I've done videos on how to get them. Alternatively, if you can't get any of those, uh, which you probably can if you just watch my videos, uh, but if you don't want to use them or if you can't get them, you can use any belt in the game and that will also work uh, for the glitch. It just means you won't get the trash vest on the outfit. Um, but yeah, from here you want to open up your pause menu, go to online jobs, go on to bookmarked, this time go on to uh, missions and start up, it's a G thing, so you will need to bookmark it, I'll leave a link to it in the description for you to bookmark. In this menu here, all you need to do is set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up. In this menu here, you just want to scroll one to the right, and then from here, ready up. Now in the mission, all you need to do is just wait a little bit, so wait a few seconds, and then either quit, quit the job using your phone, or go into your pause menu, start up creator, and then from there start up a new online invite only session. Once you load back into the session, you'll notice you have the outfit you had on before, so you want to go over to any car, your own car or a street car, it's up to you. But from here, register as MC or CEO, sit inside of your car, you want to go to MC or CEO style, switch one to the right, then one back to the left, then get out of your car, and you'll notice you get this outfit now, so go and save it. From here, just head over to the mask store, you want to go onto the horror, or the monsters even, go onto monsters, equip this one here, this pumpkin one, the first one, so uh, you will have to unlock this by collecting 10 jack-o-lanterns, uh, so they look like this here, you just press right d-pad to collect one, and you will need to collect 10 of them. Once you collect 10 of them, you should get the mask unlock, as you can see on the left there, the horror pumpkin mask, uh, it will be unlocked, so if you don't know where they are, you can look on, like just search on Google, the pumpkin locations, and then you can just find 10 of them, and you should unlock it. So yeah, that's the outfit pretty much done, but I am going to show you now how to add the IAA badge to this outfit. So all you want to do is head over to the ULP on the map, the ULP mission. It's a golden U on the map. So what you need to do is once you're over here, you need to open up your pause menu, create a playlist, go into the stunt races, and you want to add that first one to a playlist. And as you can see, once you have it, uh, just save the playlist. So I've already made one with that. Uh, but yeah, you should have the playlist now. All you need to do is equip the outfit you would like the IAA badge on, so I'm using this one here, the one we made in this video of course, and then go onto the golden circle, stand inside the middle of it. Once you are stood in the middle of it, you want to go onto your pause menu, go onto playlists, go onto my playlists, and then press on this playlist here, so select it. You will get this alert here, so what you want to do is accept that alert, and then press right on the D-pad three times. So just three times, that's it, and then wait to load into the menu. You should get the stun race menu, but with a ULP intelligence writing at the top. Uh, that's how you know it's worked. Uh, so from here, hit play. Now in this menu here, if there is a car behind you, like one of the stunt race cars behind you, then it won't work so you'll have to retry, but if there isn't a car like me, just start it up.
So you'll see in the mission you have the IAA badge on this outfit here. So from here, what you want to do is go to your apartment wardrobe and save it. And that's all you need to do, so from here, quit the job using your phone. Now equip that outfit using your interaction menu, and there you go, you have it saved fully. So obviously if you want to, you can add other things to this, like a fly tube, or anything you want. You can change the shoes as well, and the gloves. But yeah, that's it for this outfit, so let's move on to the final outfit of today's video. Now for the final outfit in today's video, we are going to be using the orange joggers, uh, so you want to equip those. You don't have to use them, you can use any other uh, pants if you want to. So if you want, you can use the black joggers, or whatever. But from here, gold sneakers, equip the bronze plain high tops, so these here, and then head over to gloves. Actually, before you do that, go on to tops, and head down to vests, and go for the black vest, or any coloured vest. Uh, but underneath, you want to equip the white band vest shirt. So this one here, the white band vest shirt. Make sure you equip that, it is important. And then from here, go on gloves. Equip the black woolen gloves. So these here. And then head over to save this to slot number one. After you have it saved, go down to outfits, heist coveralls, and then go down to any of the last four, so any of these with a gas mask, equip any of those, uh, and then go to the telescope on the pier. Over here, run by the telescope, spam right on the d-pad, you should be standing still, so open up your interaction menu, equip the outfit you just saved, and then run away. You'll notice a gas mask merges onto it, so from here, Go to the mask store. Once you have made it over here, go to the menu, save this outfit in slot number one, so overwrite the save. Just like that. And then from here, back out, open up your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job, go down to Rockstar Created, then go to missions and start up a titan of a job. Once you load in, all you need to do from here is head over to an ammunition store in the mission. By the way, you'll notice your uh, white band vest shirt has disappeared. You have the invisible arms now and the gas mask. Uh, so yeah, head over to an ammunition store. In here, just go save this outfit in slot number one. So overwrite the save on any one of these menus. So save it to slot one, overwrite the save. And then from here, quit the job using your phone. Now when you load in, you just want to simply head over to the mask store. Once you're here, you're going to need the ballistic equipment in order to get the juggernaut armour. So go on to Warstock Cash and Carry. You want to head down to the ballistic equipment. And you might already have it purchased. Uh, I do have it purchased already. Uh, but if you don't, you just want to make sure you have bought it before. So if you don't have it unlocked, uh, you need to unlock it by researching in the bunker. But a lot of you probably already have it unlocked by now. Uh, so open up your interaction menu, go to inventory, go on to ballistic equipment services and request it for about 5k. And then wait a moment. Once it has landed, you want to get in a low down vehicle like this one I have here. You want to push it right to where I'm going to push it. So I'll show you where you need it, I'll speed this up. So push it right to where I did, and then all you need to do is go over to the top section over there, next to it, until the right d-pad option pops up on your top left. So keep doing this, just edge closer until it pops up on the top left. So there you go, all you need to do now is walk into this package, 
and press right d-pad as soon as you walk over it. So preferably you don't want to go into the menu, preferably you want to have the juggernaut armor on and not have gone into the menu, uh, so I may have messed it up. Um, but the way to check is what you want to do is you want to set your jobs to custom. So make sure you show the king of the hill. There should be a blue job here, so start this blue job up. In this menu, go into confirm settings, and if you have the juggernaut armor here on the right, it means it has worked. It, however, if you don't have it on the right like I don't, it means it hasn't worked. So you'll either need to wait 15 minutes and try again, or just restart your game and try again. So usually I get it first or second try, however I was having no luck today. I did it three times, three or four times and it didn't work. Uh, so instead, if you already have the juggernaut armor on an outfit, just equip that outfit like I do here. Trust me, it will work for you guys if you just keep trying. Uh, but yeah, if you already have the juggernaut armor, equip the outfit. And then once you do, just open up your pause menu. And you want to head over to jobs, play job, go on to uh, bookmarked, go on missions and start. It's a G thing, so I'll leave a link to it in the description for you to bookmark. I did nearly forget to say, but if you were doing it the way to obtain the juggernaut armor in the first place, after you join that job and you find out it has worked, all you had to do is quit the job and then start up this job here. So it works the same. In this menu, set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up. Now in this menu here, scroll one to the right and then ready up. Now in the mission, just wait a little bit, so wait a few seconds, and then either quit the job using your phone, or open up your pause menu, go to a Rockstar Creator, and then start a new online invite only session. Now from here, head over to your car, or any car, so any streetcar or your own car, you want to register as an MC or CEO. So inside, go to your MC or CEO style, switch one to the right, then one back to the left. Then get out, you'll see you have this outfit now, so from here, go save it. Before you do save it, you can actually go and add the mask to the horror pumpkin mask. This one here, so I did show you how to get it earlier in the video if you didn't see that. But yeah, go save it and that's it done. Anyway, that's all the outfits for today's video, so I hope you did enjoy them. Let me know which one was your favourite down below. But that's it for this video, so leave a like if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, have an awesome day or night and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.